With the pro-legalization movement gaining ground in the US and Latin America, it can feel like the war on drugs is almost at an end. And maybe it is if you happen to live in some US states or Uruguay. Look to some other parts of the world, though, and it's clear that drugs are still very unwelcome. Get caught using in any of these countries and your punishment will be less of a slap on the wrist and more a karate chop to the face. Number 10. Japan Japan is rich, urbanized, technologically impressive, and enthralled Western culture. That doesn't mean they agree with our hippie liberal pro-pot crusades, though. Japan's attitude towards drugs is enough to make even the most die-hard Republican faint. For starters, the list of things Japan considers recreational drugs is way longer than other places. Anti-allergy pills, decongestants, and over-the-counter painkillers are all considered as immoral as ecstasy and heroin. Accidentally bring some into the country and you'll be facing a long prison term. Random screening is also a reality and not just at work. Police have been known to stop tourists outside bars and demand an immediate urine sample. Given how terrifying Japan's police are, you'll probably be pissing yourself anyway. Japan may be polite and nice, but its police are brutal. Suspects can be held without bail, a phone call, or a lawyer for 30 days, and are frequently tortured through sleep deprivation and verbal abuse until they sign a confession. Once you sign a confession, even a false one, well, that's it. Japan's conviction rate is around 99.9%. You get before a court on a drugs charge, and you're going down for years. Number 9. Vietnam From the outside, Vietnam's drugs policy seems almost progressive. While its trigger-happy neighbors frequently execute drug offenders, Vietnam Vietnam instead sends them to rehabilitation centers. Sounds kind of relaxing, doesn't it? Like a sort of place you might bump into Charlie Sheen. Well, hang on to that image, because we're about to brutally pull out the rug from under you. In Vietnam, rehabilitation center is basically a code word for forced labor camp. Addicts are detained in these hell holes with no release date and nothing to do except mind-numbing work making products for international companies. Refuse to work for free, and you'll receive a beating so severe that labor rights charities have called it tantamount to torture. That's before we get on to your fellow detainees. Understandably, being cooped up in a squalid hellhole working for free grates on some folks' nerves. As a result, violent riots in these camps are increasingly common. Number 8. China Not so long ago, China led the world in executing drug offenders. It still routinely shoots dealers, but its attitude towards users is slowly becoming more progressive to a point. Currently, Beijing seems to be following the Vietnam model to an even crazier degree. Although possession is technically a minor offense, the state still decides for itself whether or not you are an addict. If you fail the totally arbitrary non-medical test, prepare yourself for a world of hurt. Addicts are given three years in a compulsory detoxification center that amounts to little more than a prison. After that, they get another three years in compulsory community rehabilitation. By the time you're finally allowed back on the streets unsupervised, you've lost over half a decade of your life. This isn't an unlikely outcome of a drugs-related arrest either. During a special operation in the Guangdong province in 2013, nearly 100,000 users were detained. Of course, nearly half of those were sent to detoxification centers. Number 7. Singapore Singapore is one of the cleanest, safest, and richest states on Earth. The trouble is, these positive outcomes come with a hefty negative price tag. The city-state's laws are legendarily strict to the point of insanity, and this goes double for drugs. Singapore Singapore frequently executes drug dealers. However, who they class as a dealer is often at odds with the rest of the world and, well, with basic reality. You are default listed as a trafficker if you're caught carrying as little as half an ounce of grass or one-tenth of an ounce of coke. Police don't even have to prove you actually dealt the staff or even intended to. You're under possible death penalty threat regardless. Even if you escape execution, you're going to be treated to a really long stay in prison. There's also the tricky problem of burden of proof. If drugs are found on your property, you are legally listed as the owner unless you can prove beyond all reasonable doubt that they didn't belong to you. And, well, that's a crazy difficult thing to do. Number 6. Dubai The Emirate of Dubai has some extremely harsh laws regarding drug possession. While you probably won't be executed, you can easily find yourself locked up for years in a brutal prison. So the easy answer is just not to carry drugs right? Unfortunately, things aren't so simple. What Dubai considers possession is broad to the point of madness. Arriving in the country with drugs in your bloodstream is classified as possession, and penalties are enacted accordingly. This can catch law-abiding citizens in a dragnet of insanity. Dubai considers everything from common painkillers to poppy seeds drugs, meaning you could smash two paracetamol on your flight to help your headache and wind up being thrown in jail when you land. 
People have literally been imprisoned for having three poppy seeds on their clothes from having eaten a seeded bun at their departure airport. On the plus side, Dubai usually releases foreigners before they serve a full sentence. On the downside, this can still mean you're spending seven months to a year in a highly uncomfortable prison. Number 5. North Korea The Hermit Kingdom made some waves recently when Vice reported that weed is basically legal in Pyongyang. Awesome as it is to think that Kim Jong-un's craziness can be explained by him being stoned off his ass, the reality is somewhat different. The Guardian says publicly smoking dope in North Korea can technically get you executed, although this policy is implemented only rarely. However, this hasn't stopped the North from having a strange love affair with drugs. Until recently, the government made, shipped, and sold its own brand of crystal meth. That's right, Kim Jong-il was basically Walter White, only fatter and without the excuse of cancer or being fictional. Under his stewardship, the North produced so much meth that offering it to visitors in your home became as standard as offering tea or coffee. These days are now long gone because China took issue with the sheer number of North Korean meth dealers that it kept arresting at the border. Number 4. Indonesia When you fly into Jakarta, a sign cheerfully informs you that having drugs in your bloodstream could lead to your execution. That's the kind of country Indonesia is when it comes to drug laws. One with a tolerance policy that dips below zero and deep into the minuses. Drug users, let alone dealers, can face decades in prison or the firing squad. Crazily, you don't even have to take drugs to get in trouble. A law enacted in 2009 forced parents to report if their child was taking illicit substances. Failure to do so resulted in brutal punishments for the entire family. Then there's the way the country treats addiction. Addiction itself is a crime that can, in some cases, lead to the death penalty. You better believe Indonesia won't hesitate to execute foreigners or people considered unfit to stand trial. In 2015, the country sent two Australians and a mentally ill Brazilian man before the firing squad. Pleas from their respective countries' governments did nothing to help them. Number 3. Iran Like many things in Iran, the country's drug laws managed to be both incredibly harsh and weirdly progressive all at once. Iran executes a staggering number of drug dealers every single year. Between 60 to 70 percent of its vast prison population are there on drugs charges. Yet it also runs more treatment centers than nearly any other country on Earth. In this case, they're not a euphemism for forced labor camps either. It distributes clean needles to users, and they're seriously considering legalizing all drugs. We kid you not here. The very influential Expediency Council recently suggested the country should ditch the war on drugs and start growing pot and opium and charging the citizenry to use them. This would almost wipe out Iran's annual executions and sharply reduce the prison population. This is important as the Expediency Council doesn't have to submit to the Iranian parliament. It has total control over drug laws in the state. If they decide to legalize, the religious police can't do a damn thing about it. So while Iran currently deserves a very high place on this list, it might not be there long. In a few short years, it might even top lists of best places for drug users to visit. Number 2. Islamic State It should come as no surprise that the territory captured by Islamic State, ISIS, is home to some of the strictest drug laws on earth. The verted caliphate is so harsh against everything that you have to wonder if they ever have any fun. Anyone caught in possession of even a tiny amount of drugs can be expected to face over a hundred public lashes. And that happens all at once. A brutally terrifying amount of violence to put another human being through. Like the douchebags they are, ISIS also don't discriminate between different types of drugs. You can get beaten for using opium, but you can also get badly beaten for drinking alcohol or even just smoking cigarettes. Unless, of course, you're a jihadist. Reports have found ISIS fighters routinely smoke, drink, take, and sell drugs. Even those a-holes who attacked Paris for its loose morals. Many go into combat under the effect of hallucinogenics and cocaine. I mean, wow, who would have thought that the world's foremost murdering scumbags would also be its foremost hypocrites? Number 1. Saudi Arabia While you're unlikely to ever go to Islamic State, we hope, it's not out of the question that you might visit Saudi Arabia, which is why it tops our list. Where drugs are concerned, Saudi Arabia is both utterly ruthless and utterly insane. The standard penalty if you're caught with drugs is public execution. Not in the sense that Texas may let victims in to watch a killer die, but in the sense that you'll be dragged onto the roadside, surrounded by a jeering mob, and then beheaded in front of children. If you're extremely unlucky, your body may then be publicly displayed as a warning to others. So the takeaway from this is don't do drugs. 
Right? Well, sadly, not even that will help. Saudi officers will torture you to exact a confession regardless of the truth. You're also utterly at the mercy of the judge. Even when there is reasonable doubt about your guilt, a Saudi judge can still sentence you to death if he's having a bad day. In the first six months of 2015 alone, the Wahhabi Kingdom executed 100 criminals. Nearly half of them were for non-violent drug offenses. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, smash that like button below and don't forget to subscribe. We got brand new videos every day. For more from me, why not check out another channel I do called Geographics. It's all about geography, rather appropriately, a bit related to this video. I'm linking to that below. And as always, thank you for watching.